in this video we will see how to use and or and not operators in SQL so these are the most commonly used three operators along with the where clause so we'll be learning the three operators which are and or and not operators in SQL so uh, within the where clause we use this and or and not operators to complete uh, uh, to include multiple uh, comparison or conditions let me start with the and operator implementation for that we will be using the employee table so first let me query the employee table and show you what is the scheme of the table select I'm choosing only the top 10 data from employee table let me execute the query yeah so this is the table with the four columns employee ID name department name and salary so using the and operator uh, we will be combining multiple conditions within the where clause let me show you how we does that and for that uh, initially we'll frame a question so the question is find the employees who belong to HR department department and whose salary is greater than 3000 so this is the question we are trying to answer using multiple conditions so let me start with select what we want is the employee employees so we'll take the employee name employee underscore name so the question asks us the employee names only but in order to make it clear and see if we are getting the right answer we will choose other two columns which are department name and salary as well because this makes the answers obvious when we validate the same salary now this is from the table employee now we'll be using the where clause to check or to imp uh, use the conditions the question has suggested us that is the employees who are belonging to the HR department so the department should be HR so department should be HR and there is one more condition the question is asking us that is the employees whose salary is also greater than 3000 so here we have multiple conditions to be satisfied that is we have department name is HR as well as the other condition is salary is greater than 3000 so we have two conditions in order to include these two conditions we will be using the AND operator so after the department name equal to HR we will use the AND now this is correct and now the query is like select employee name department name and salary from the table employee for which that is where clause where the department is HR and salary is greater than 3000 so let us run this query and see what is the result yes now we have got the result which satisfies both the condition and in order to implement both the conditions or include both the conditions in the where clause we have used the AND so when we are using AND there is one more thing both the conditions should be satisfied that is the employees should be belonging to HR as well as those employees who belongs to HR should have a salary greater than 3000 so both the conditions are satisfied and the result we got as follows this is how we
an AND operator in SQL. So if we want to add more conditions with AND, we can use another AND and a new condition we can add after AND. So we can use multiple AND. It's not like we can use one, two AND. We can use multiple AND operators within the SQL query. Now let us move on to the second operator which is the OR operator. So the question will be, let me query the table first, then, they, then we will frame the question and we'll answer the question. So the question is, find the employees who belong to, find the employees who belongs to finance department or whose salary is greater than 6000 so this is the question that we want to answer so the que uh, the question is like we have to find the employees who belongs to the finance department either they belong to the finance department or either they should have a salary which is greater than 6000 so either of the conditions should be satisfied similar cases we will be using or clause so let us write the query for the same select employee underscore name department underscore name salary from employee table and inside the where clause we will be providing the conditions so the first condition is department name department should be finance sorry department is finance and the second condition is salary should be greater than 6000 so either of the condition should be satisfied it's not like both the condition should be satisfied as per the question either of the condition should be satisfied either the employee should belong to the department finance or the employee should be having a salary greater than 6000 in similar cases where either of the condition should get satisfied we will be using the or clause now let us run this query and see what are the results we are getting let me run the query yes see now we got the results so as you can see let us compare uh, few of the rows and see if we are getting the right results see if we take this employee darwin he belongs to the department finance so even if he is getting a salary higher than or less than uh, 6000 it doesn't matter the condition is get satisfied but here both the conditions are getting satisfied uh, that should also come because see either of the condition should satisfy uh, definitely that will be coming then the next uh, employee is rajesh uh, this is a good example because see he belongs to finance but as you can see his salary is not greater than 6000 even then we are getting this in the result it is because one of the condition is satisfied because department name is finance the department is finance so we are getting rajesh finance 5000 as one of the uh, output now let us move on to one more result and see here breathe see here for breathe the department name is hr and salary is 7000 but uh, as you can see 7000 condition for salary greater than 6000 this condition is getting satisfied but if we come and check the department name department name is hr which is not same as the finance which were, which we provided in the query but the thing is one condition got satisfied that is salary greater than 6000 uh, as you can see the result is 7000 so uh, this is also displaying as the result so or operator we use when we have to 
uh, select between multiple conditions which means either of the condition should satisfy so that we will get the result in similar cases we will use or uh, we can use multiple or conditions also uh, similar to and we can use multiple or conditions also we can use combinations of or, and and or conditions that is together inside the where clause we can use or as well as and now let us move on to the next operator which is not so uh, let me frame a question so we have to find all the employees who does not belongs to the department HR so so find employee who does not belong to HR department so this is the question so let us write the query for the same select employee underscore name and department name also we will write because then it will be easy for us to see the result and check if we are getting the right result based on the department condition and from table employee where see the employees who does not belongs to HR department so as you can see we have like different departments which are finance uh, HR IT and there is one more department which is the admin admin department so either we can uh, include all the other departments uh, in an using an in operator uh, that is see I can show you that and uh, show you the difference between using a not and uh, in operator so where the department underscore name in finance comma admin comma it so if i run this query i will get the uh, result such that all the employees in the result will belong to either of the three department which is finance admin and it and no employee will be belonging to the department hr but the same result we can achieve without using the uh, multiple departments within the in clause because some cases we may not know like what are all what all departments are within the table because the table might have lakhs and lakhs of rows so uh, all the cases we may not be able to uh, provide each uh, possible value inside the in operator so instead what we can do uh, instead of this in what we will do is I have commented out that row instead of that where department name equal to HR but instead after the where clause we will put a not now let us run the query and see what is the result see we are getting the same result as above because we have a not included in the query that is we will get the opposite result uh, when comparing to the condition where department name equal to HR so this is how we use a symbol not operator also within the theory thank you